Well, hello everyone and welcome to what may be a new video series. I have found my next game for mobile and PC that I thought I would try. And of course, you've probably heard of this game by now. You might have even been playing it yourself. Uh, I did not do this for Ray, but I thought for this game I would. I'm going to start right from scratch from the beginning and you'll be right along with me. All I've done is created an account. I downloaded the uh, files for PC. It was 16 gigabytes. I'm pretty sure I read that correctly. Uh, I chose a server and I've logged in, so I'm on American server. Uh, I don't think I have any information here I need to blur out. Uh, I haven't been able to change the settings so that it's not stuck in full screen. I'm hoping I can do that because I need to be able to access the Windows environment better. Got the volume turned down from the uh, surround system and I have the settings set like normal in uh, OBS. So we're going to start this game and you and I, uh, if you are new to this game or haven't tried it or haven't played it, you and I are going to experience this together for the first time. If you have been playing the game, then you get to watch as I encounter the things you encountered when you first started. And I have heard that this game is pretty impressive. Uh, I can tell you right now that I really love the music. Now, I understand this game might be a gotcha game, so be warned about that. Uh, and I'm hoping, if it is, that it's not like Raid where there's so much um, frustration, dead ends. I don't know the right word to say. But let's see what we get. Let's press start and uh, get our game started here. So I'm clicking to begin. And we are off. Now a little side note. I am using an Ergo mouse, a Cherry MX mouse that's slanted at 45 degrees. So we're going to see if that's a little easier on my hand in the position that I'm currently seated in. I will have a tech, uh, my Bliss Tech channel, I will have a video regarding these uh, mice that I've been trying uh, in the next week or so, if I can get my phone to work properly. So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you, the sustainer of heavenly principles? The irrigation of mankind ends now. I think I'm about to die horribly. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to go with the guy because I'm a dude. Enter your name. This is an interesting introduction. Now, the one thing I will say that I'm not liking, I love Japanese anime. I like to watch it. I'm not, like, seriously addicted where I watch it all the time, but I enjoy it. I'm, I'm a big fat ghost in the shell, for example. But I don't like cell shading and anime-type graphics in my games, so that was one of my turnoffs for this game initially, but I thought I'd try to overcome that and give it a try anyway. I like my graphics to be realistic. Or maybe slightly cartoonish like Creativeverse. Okay, so I've entered my name. You, of course, will enter your name. That sucks. Just like that, the god took away my sister. 
Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. Typical third-person talking character. We should head off. Let's get going. Okay, this is a very beautiful game so far, I must say. All right, let's see if I can rearrange my keyboard and everything. I don't know how the controls are going to work. And we might have to pause because I don't use ASDF, and that's what they want, WASD. Yep. Right click or press left shift, right mouse button to evade and hold to sprint. Okay. So you say. Okay. And I'm assuming the evade works to either side. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to pause for a second and see if I can find any options anywhere. permanently bound. Okay, that I do not like. I do not like that. I like my jump right where I can get to it. That makes it incredibly difficult with my keyboard to find a jump key that I can use that I would like. Bad people that did Genshin. Bad, 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 bad. But thank you for including the jump, because a lot of people like Bioware don't include jumps for whatever reason. And it doesn't like any of my mouse buttons, and I don't know that I like my mouse buttons for jump anyway, so it has to be space unless I can find another option. Darn, I can't really reach a space bar from here. Let's try insert. Will that work? Okay. Pick up interact. I use my. It will let me. Nope. It won't find my mouse buttons. That's not bad. That's. I mean, that's not good. That's. That's pretty sucky. So another thing for the makers of Genshin Impact: make sure that a person has a six-button mouse and can use all six buttons. From the escape screen, I've got inventory, character, map, achievement, and quests. I can take a picture if I wish to. I wonder how that works. Is he just, uh, okay, so I've got some camera controls. Ah, it's like a drone or, well, not a drone. I guess it's behind him. And then to take a photo, we press enter. So, I'll put my mouse cursor over here. That might have to be a thumbnail. Okay. Alright, let's escape out of here. Is it escape to get out of here? Oh, it looks like I have different places that I can take the camera from. So F1 gives me some options for the camera so I can have background blur and hide personal info and all of that. 
Oh, I see it. I can do different poses. Okay, I gotcha. That's neat, and this must be Zoom. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. We set the camera's middle mouse, so that's now back to where it needs to be. Ah, so to rotate your camera, press and hold your uh, uh, left mouse button. Left click and hold. Yes, that's correct. I know my left and my right, I hope, anyway. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, I think you can press the X up here or escape. Much better. Looks like you can get the camera to uh, rotate around your character. And I'm guessing, is it inverted? Let's see, up to go down and down to go. I don't think that's inverted, but it doesn't feel unnatural just yet. Combat's pretty easy, uh, pretty intuitive so far. I'm not sure about the inverse. Um, well, let's see if I like to invert it. So, another note to the Genshin Impact creators, we need an invert camera. Some of us are very old school, and we do a lot of first-person shooters, and we need to be able to change our uh, Y-axis. I think I can make do with it, though. It's not too bad. Okay, let's see, I've got Wanderer's Tail, unlock the teleport waypoint, press V. Okay, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? In teleport waypoint. Oh, I see, I don't have to go right up to it. Why does it say in? Okay, here we go. Open the world map. Select an unlock teleport waypoint to teleport to that location. Teleport waypoint didn't do anything when I clicked on it, so the map. Follow the mini map. M will open the map. I'll leave that by default because that's fine. So obviously we know nothing about our area. And I'm definitely going to want to come in here and really thoroughly explore it. Uh, but for now, I want to proceed along and just, I don't know how long I'll play. I'll play just a little bit to kind of dive in and get used to it, so. We've got to find another teleport. I think I'm going to play f until the end of the follow the leader segment we seem to be involved with right now. And then hopefully it'll unlock and then let me return back here and give me freedom of movement without having to have any kind of goal so I can get longer. Right now it's kind of teaching us. Stamina and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. I love how the stuff's moving around. I like the... I really like this. Climbing is very nice. Good job on that, makers of Genshin Impact. You just walk up to the wall and start climbing up. And I wonder, let's uh, see if we can do sideways. Yes. But it delays your time up there, but you can actually move around while you're climbing. That is a very good job. I'm very impressed with that. Some people, I don't know why, even today, they can't get the climbing aspect. I've never figured it out. Like, first-person shooters should have you being able to climb a wall without any issues like that. But they never figured it out, not as far as I know. Plus, they have to limit where you're going in the map, so that's another reason for that. Oh, okay, she's doing some animation. I see some fruit up here. I want to. I want to go towards them. I don't know what these are, but I'm assuming they're important. Let's pick them up. It's. Uh, I didn't get read it. I went too quick. But I guess it's something that gives you life. I'm assuming. Is this one available? Can I pick it? No. But it wants me to open my. Oh, there it is. It wants me to open my inventory. 
I always want to get all the resources I can. All right, let's check her out. We've got a dual dull blade. <laughs> Don't you love how in RPGs you always start out with a rusty sword or a dull blade or a branch if they're really being mean? Uh, let's see, we've got quality and level, okay, and up here are various sections, no items, no items, food, resource 300 HP, plump fruit, beautiful like the sunset, huh, I like that, that they gave it a little story and they actually uh, and they just put it right there for you, I'm sure you're going to need it, usually when you see health in those big amounts, you've got a big fight ahead of you, so be beware, be Bleh, be ready. Okay, we got another wall we can probably climb. Nope, just um, jump right over it. And we got some water here. Ah, I see a goodie. I see a goodie, and I bet there's a trap somewhere nearby, so you gotta be ready for that. Because I have to keep looking at my keyboard to find my uh, stuff. It's difficult. I'm going to take a picture of this so I can figure out what the camera was again. I actually used to, a uh, true story, once upon a time I would judge video games based on the kind of waterfall effects that they gave you. Believe it or not, that's what I used to do. It made sense to me. I think that's a pretty good uh, spot right here. Let's go ahead and snap a picture of this. I want two. I want one here. And then I want to pull back. And we'll look for the screenshots when we're done. Um, I think I press save. So is it exiting out? Okay. And then I want to pull back. And uh, I think maybe I even want to go like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. I really do like this so far, though. Uh, but anyway, I would take a look at how the waterfalls were being done because the level of detail that I would find on a water effect seemed to be a pretty reliable indicator of the kind of graphics and the kind of work put into the game overall. So I would be looking at games and checking out the water effects. And this one's pretty cool. I like how they did it. That is not edible. Doesn't glow. There's a little plateau here. <coughs> I like how he hops over the low walls. <coughs> Pardon me. I wonder if anything's hidden in the waterfall and do I want to look? Can he swim? Since that monster popped out of me from the other water, I just was kind of, okay. Doesn't appear to be anything hiding around here. Now, can I swim faster if I press and hold shift? Oh, yeah. So press and hold shift to swim faster and your forward walking direction arrow uh, to just do normal swimming. Same for climbing up a wall. Very nice on the navigation. I'm quite impressed so far. Ooh, I've got to check out the scenery here. Oh, wow. Looks like I'm not uh, the only one. My little companion here wants to look too. Now that's pretty impressive, I have to say. I mean, yeah, they cheated a little doing cell shading, but it still looks awesome. I mean, for whatever reason, this doesn't really bother me. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this God controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the God you're looking for is the Animal God, but... Paimon will take you to the Animal God's place first, and there's the reason why. So that was simple left click to go through each part of the dialogue. Pretty simple. Uh, As we all there. know, poetry and language flow like the wind. Sorry, I gotta take another screenshot, man. I gotta collect all my thumbnails. 
Now, if I use the, uh... I'll use my framing devices. So, do you want a little tip on screenshots? I will give you a tip on screenshots, in case you were wondering if there's an art to taking pictures. Well, it's the same rule that you would use for taking pictures. You're looking to square off the frame in some way, and you want to follow the one-third or the golden ratio uh, rule. Notice that uh, off to the side here, you can see the main part of the town. I squared off the trees here. I've got him right here in the edge, but slightly off center. And that's going to make for a very beautiful screenshot. Take a look. If you ever want to know the secret to screenshots, that's what it is. Slightly off center. The main thing you want people to focus on somewhere into the uh, third area, like if you divide the screen into thirds on a line. For one of or near one of those thirds, okay. But you didn't think you'd get yourself a screenshot tip while you were here. All right. Apparently, we have to go down now. There will definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. I'm wandering a little because I hate a game that pushes me so forward. I don't really hate it, but how do I put it better? Uh, the way I like to play a game, especially one when they give me an actual space to explore, I want to explore every nook and cranny. I want to try and climb every cliff. I want to try and jump on everything. That's the way I am. That's the player I am. Most people could go through and get to whatever the next point is in five minutes. I could take five hours if it's a big enough space. And I wouldn't even feel like I wasted my time. I'd be enjoying myself. Just kind of depends on what they give you and what you can do. I don't know with this. But obviously you wouldn't want to sit through that, so I'm trying to restrain myself for your sake. <laughs> I got a little critter that ran away from these fruit. I've got these berries. I'm going to grab all three. I do feel kind of bad. The critter isn't going to be able to eat, but I want to follow him over here. He went up this way somewhere. I saw a little bit of a glitch there. Not good. Must have uh, gone somewhere else. And I'm assuming these rock walls... Oh, you can climb them. That's interesting. I wonder how far he can actually climb before he falls or hits an end. We gotta try this just once. Bear with me. I'll fast forward if it takes too long. I'm sure he's gonna hit a barrier or a wall or something. I thought for sure they'd have this all blocked off and they wouldn't let you go up here. Running out of stamina. So I'll have to come up here and rest. Okay, so it gives me a return to quest point if I press right, control, and end. I want to go over here and see what's shining in the bushes. Oh! <laughs> Alright, right, control, and end it is then. Okay. <laughs> so they'll let you go where you want to go, but uh, you, you might venture into some territory that will kill you. <laughs> Alright, let's head towards the town. And then we'll wrap up this video and see what the next one's like. I can't wait till I'm strong enough that I can go to this Storm Bear Mountains and survive. Uh, I can't pass that up, and this is probably going to kill me. But I can't pass it up. If I see a chest, I gotta go for it. I hope I don't die. And the common chest. Woohoo! And I got it all. Uh, end to pick it up. Okay. Do not like that. I don't like how it kind of burst out because I lost one of the items that went down a cliff and I don't know what kind of fade out it would have. I'm assuming it went down. I heard it make a noise. I don't know how to climb back down the cliff either. Ah, oh, there it is. So that isn't so cool, but if you're aware of it doing that, it should be okay. 
There'll probably be somebody for me to fight in here. So we're going to meet a god or a messenger or just a talking obelisk. I don't know. We'll find out. It responded to him when he touched it. Uh, looks like I got some powers, possibly. Okay, so now it's telling us where we are. We've got the Whispering Woods, the Storm Bear Point. Uh, a lot of stuff here. We've got one big city and a lot of area to explore. And I'm assuming, because the download was so large, that there's more that will be unlocked in future episodes or something. Now let me know if your experience has been different, if you've got different areas when you've started playing, because it's been out now for about a year. You know, fill me in. Let me know what you got. I definitely want to see one of these stone statues if I can. They'll sound cool. It says I can navigate by pressing... I don't know why it says zero, but maybe it means actual zero, not like a gamepad key. It looks like a gamepad key. Did you just feel the elements up. of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Oh, we got some choice dialogue. Hmm. I don't want to be a negative thing. Uh -huh. It's because you're not from this world to be bitter. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the... So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Okay. Let's move then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. So the next question is, how do I save? What in the world? Oh, E. Excuse me. They wanted me to train and unleash my elemental skill. Hold E and charge skill to increase power. Press Q to unleash an elemental burst. Wow, that's pretty cool. Wow. Honey roasted fowl. <laughs> Uh, press escape to call Paimon, then view the control scheme under settings control. There's Paimon, okay. And I think I have a button to call her or something I thought I saw somewhere. Looks like I'm about ready to rank up. We've got some notices. We'll go through some of this stuff real quick and then we'll end the video and I'll do another video where we start out from here and go to the city. I might even do it tonight. I'm really addicted all of a sudden. Uh, so now here we've got, this is pulling us out of the world a little bit. This is some news, and of course this is part of the, the process of recording a game. I've got to give you the news. We've got a version 1-2 update with details. I'll read these later. Uh, another one about details, an update summary, an online top-up center, a community, fair use statement. And then we've got some events that we can take part of. We've got a hip... No Static Symphony, Seize the Day, Event Wish, Epitome. This is, of course, some of the stuff that you can buy, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know if they give you anything free here, so let's see if any of this is free. It says here, if we look for this merchant... You can open a box of marbles which contain primo gems. That's probably the thing they want you to buy to get stuff. Okay, adventure rank 12, so you have to be ranked up for it.
rank 20. I'm just going to ignore them if they're not under rank 10. Here's rank 5. Log in on 7 days during the event to win rewards. So this will go until the 31st. I think I have enough time. Uh, but I'm not eligible until I hit rank 5. So keep this in mind. This is important. You're going to want to have, uh, you're logging in every day. That's what they usually do with these gotcha games. They want you to log in every day. I've got a weapon event wish. So let's, doesn't do anything when I click on it. Oh, stock up in weapons and characters. Okay. And then test run. So I guess if you want to test certain things in the game. Okay. So that's what's going on there. It looks like we've got some mail. We've got a reward. We've got Wings of Companionship. Wind Glider, Wings of Companionship. All travelers who've joined us as thanks. Wow. we got to try that real quick before we go. How do we, oh, we claim it right here, okay. Okay, and so here we've got a 3M pre-registrations milestone. So they decided if they reached 3 million players that they would give this to all of us. I believe I'm registered, so I didn't do any special offers from anybody though. Okay, and I've got some experience. I'm assuming that means I get a little bit of a level up from that. Okay, so let's uh, take a peek at these things. We've got an achievement. So it looks like you can unlock achievements as you play. So I did the Let the Wind Lead. So by attaining the power of Animo, I can now claim whatever this is. Five something. Primo gems? Yeah, as I said. Primo gems are what you're going to probably be able to buy packs of for cash. That, that makes sense. That's what they usually do in these. But it's not really obtrusive. There's not really like... I didn't even know that this was a game that would be ad... You know technically not really ad supported but technically ad supported uh, in the sense that there are things that they're trying to sell you but they're not really putting ads up so I guess I really can't call it ad supported uh, but it is it, it does uh, it will advertise itself through the news and other things like that uh, unlike Raid which has a little box it's always there after you've played a while it's always showing something and every time you log in it has a bunch of stuff showing up on the screen but we'll see. This might actually do that too. We'll have to see if it uh, turns into that after you get a certain level. Or if they're nice and they keep away from it and they don't put obtrusive ads of any sort in your way. Be interesting to see how they do it. I'm going to go to my inventory and I'm going to find out what some of the stuff I've got is. Here we've got some. So it looks like we can enchant. And I'm assuming you might need to have somebody help you with that. So you can enchant your weapons, presumably armor. So I don't know if it's a good idea to claim this now, but I'm going to claim this. And uh, use it. Level up the character to improve stats. Dragon Storm Tone Lock Outfits. Required. I have to have... So I have a 13,408 out of 1,000? Or I need to have more than 1,000? It's a little bit unsure on that, but let's use... Oh, I've got 10 of them? Let's use one. And that ranked me all the way up to level 5. So now I'm eligible for the daily login rewards. And I've got 9 more of these. I'm not sure the best time to budget to use it. I'm only going to use one right now because that makes me eligible for the login rewards. Um, I'm not saying that that's the way to go because I don't know yet. I'm playing this for the first time, as some of you may be.
You have to unlock Dragon Storm and then you can have the wings. I see it. It wants me to use that some more. Very tasteful little red dot there to let me know. Hey, you got some stuff here to do. Okay, I think that covers it for now. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please leave that in the comments below. If there are any areas of the game in which you are unclear where you want a tutorial or anything like that, I can do that for you. As I learn, I can, I can share what I'm learning, so let me know if you want me to do that. Uh, and I hope you enjoy this kind of walkthrough slash kind of tutorial slash first step slash whatever you want to call it uh, as much as I have. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, well that concludes this episode. Be sure to leave a thumb up if you like the video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or any of my other videos. Um, be sure to hit that notification icon so that you can be notified when any new videos are released. And leave me some comments, feedback, suggestions so that I can improve and do even better for you guys. Also, please stop by my uh, Teespring store. I've got more designs coming over from Spreadshirt, but this is what I have here right now. I've got three cool designs. I've got this mask does not equal safe. It's kind of an attitude for everybody trying to make us wear masks right now. I've got this Zen saying and drawing that I did to reach your destination, embrace a journey. I think that's really cool. I've got a poem over here. Poem says, life doesn't have to be so hard. It has a flow. Sometimes you'll drift. Sometimes you'll row, but you get to choose a destination you'll go. I think that's really cool also. So uh, go ahead and grab some of this stuff, and that will support me and help me in my continuing work at YouTube. And I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.